Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has landed. Let's talk about it. What's up, Internet? I'm Brian McDuff, a.k.a. BMAC and welcome to another video. So today we are going over the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, a smartphone with a lot of promise, but has it delivered on all those promises that were made? That's what we're here to find out. First things first, we need to give a huge thank you and a shout out to Samsung for actually sending out an S24 Ultra for me to be able to check out and enjoy. So Sammy, thank you. I appreciate you. But with that having been said, let's just get right into it here and talk about the S24 Ultra design and how this smartphone is looking on the outside. One of the most dominant design changes you're gonna immediately notice with the S24 Ultra is now the completely flat front display. And for those of you who know me, you should already know how much I love this. A flat front display that seamlessly blends into the slightly curved sides of the device with a volume rocker and a power button on the right side, complete with a flat glass back and a flat top and bottom of the device itself with a SIM card slot on the bottom alongside the USB-C port and of course the S Pen storage slot. So with all that taken into consideration, Needless to say, I'm a huge fan of the S24 Ultra design. But in terms of strength and durability, you're getting a lot of what I like to see here in a smartphone. You're getting Gorilla Armor front glass and back glass with a titanium grade two frame. All of which I think you have to be happy with here because that means you're getting glass in the front and the back of the device that is tough as nails with a titanium frame that's gonna lessen the overall weight of the device itself so that it doesn't feel so hefty and heavy in your hand. And part of the Gorilla Armor Glass that you're getting in the S24 Ultra actually comes with an anti-reflective technology built in. Now I gotta admit, this is actually pretty awesome here because it's so subtle, you almost can't even tell that it's at work here. But when you specifically put this in front of light sources where there will be reflections, or if especially you put it next to other smartphones, this is where you're gonna see the difference that it actually makes. We are also getting an IP60 dust and water resistance rating here. So even if your S24 Ultra happens to take a slight dive into the kitchen sink or into the pool out back, not to worry, you're protected there. This despite the fact that you do have a fully removable S Pen. So pretty awesome to see that even with this design. And you're also getting seven total color options in one size with the S24 Ultra, at least at the time of making this video. Those colors being titanium black, titanium gray, titanium violet, titanium yellow, titanium blue, titanium green, and titanium orange. All of which I think look pretty awesome. They have sort of an overall muted hue to them. So it doesn't really matter which one you pick. I think they all look nice. I do happen to have the titanium gray color here. So that's what I'm rocking. But let's take a second here to talk about another major component of what makes up a smartphone, the display and how things are looking when you're looking at the S24 Ultra. The S24 Ultra offers a 6.8 inch dynamic LTPO AMOLED display with a variable refresh rate of one hertz to 120 hertz with HDR support and a pixel density rating of just over 500 PPI. We're not getting Dolby Vision support here, which is a little bit of a bummer for me because I do tend to watch a lot of Dolby Vision content. Luckily we do get HDR10 and HDR10 plus support, but no Dolby Vision here is, for me, a little bit of a letdown. For brightness ratings, Samsung is actually promising up to 2600 nits of peak brightness, and we're getting about 1500 nits of typical brightness. I have found myself just oftentimes wishing I got a little bit more brightness out of the display itself, no matter if I'm inside or outside, and no matter if I have dark mode or light mode turned on. It just seems to be a little bit less than what would be ideal for me, as it relates to brightness. You do also get an ultrasonic based fingerprint scanner built into the display itself for unlocking the device, alongside a face unlocking feature, which utilizes the selfie camera to do so. And I personally found both methods of unlocking the device to be quick, solid, responsive, snappy, seamless, Zero issues there whatsoever when it relates to actually getting into the phone through unlocking it. So all around, a lot to love with the S24 Ultra display. I've actually been using it for some mobile gaming and cloud gaming on the go using the backbone 
controller here. This is literally like taking my Xbox and my PS5 with me, no matter where I'm going. And if you wanna learn more about the Backbone Gaming Controller and my personal mobile gaming setup, I will leave links to that in the video description box below and in the comments section, so check those out. But now let's go over what is probably one of the most exciting categories in any smartphone these days, the camera system and how the cameras are performing in the S24 Ultra. On the S24 Ultra, you're getting five lenses in total. You're getting a 12 megapixel selfie camera, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 200 megapixel optical image stabilized main camera, along with two telephoto lenses, a 10 megapixel 3X lens with OIS, and a 50 megapixel 5X lens with OIS. But with tech specs aside, when it comes to overall camera performance, I'm happy with the S24 Ultra camera capabilities. The results of the photos that I've taken seem to be nicely balanced between giving you that wow kind of factor that you're kind of used to with image processing and smartphones these days without going overboard and therefore keeping the colors, the overall composition and the dynamic range more on the natural side. All lenses really do provide some awesome photos. In terms of video, it is actually possible to capture video on up to 8K resolution at 30 frames per second. So overall camera performance here with the S24 Ultra, I'm happy with it. It takes some solid photos, which overall complement the powerful smartphone that it is to begin with. Which, speaking of which, let's switch gears here a little bit and talk about the S24 Ultra performance and what it's capable of when you're putting it to work in your daily life. Like many other recently released flagship smartphones and with other phones that are expected to be released in 2024, you are getting the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 chipset in the S24 Ultra. This alongside 12 gigs of RAM with either a 256 gig, 512 gig, or one terabyte storage configuration option. And just like the other smartphones that I've reviewed that have the Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 processor, things are powerful here and I'm just all around loving the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. You get full fluidity in your multitasking, your photo editing, your video exporting, your gaming, whatever it is you're doing on a daily basis on your smartphone, all of it is gonna be snappy, responsive, like I said, fluid. So you're getting a lot of performance packed into the smartphone, but for many, the biggest difference maker is going to be the included retractable S Pen. Whether you plan on using it or not, it is so awesome to have. The fact that it just goes directly into the phone itself, clicks away, Love it. The S Pen has built-in Bluetooth connectivity, a built-in accelerometer, a built-in gyroscope. The S Pen really is so much more than just your typical stylus and you could use it to actually complement everything else that your S24 Ultra is already capable of. You could use it when you're showcasing a presentation, you could edit photos, you could take handwritten notes, you could even use it as a remote camera shutter. The possibilities with the S Pen are really pretty much only limited by your own imagination. And it is what makes the S series of Samsung Galaxy phones for me so exciting. But with all this processing power that we're talking about here, how long can you actually expect this phone to last for? What's the battery life looking like on the S24 Ultra? The S24 Ultra houses a 5,000 milliampere hour battery capacity, which may not be an upgrade over last year's model, but hold on. It's not necessarily the size here that matters because you could still probably expect to get at least seven plus hours of screen on time with the device. And a lot of this likely has to do with the better efficiency of that Snapdragon 8 Generation 3 processor we were just talking about, providing the phone with better overall power management. You could definitely expect all day battery life out of your S24 Ultra, and it's gonna float you throughout the entire day on a day-to-day -day basis. When it comes time to recharge your S24 Ultra, it is actually capable of up to 45 watts of recharging input power. And if you are using the Samsung 45 watt power delivery charger, this should allow you to actually go from about zero to 70% battery in just 30 minutes, or a full charge from zero to 100% in about 65 minutes. You are also getting 15 watts of Qi certified wireless charging capabilities here with 4.5 watts of reverse wireless charging, both of which are acceptable, but I do hope not just for the S24 Ultra, but in smartphones in general moving forward, we get up those recharging wireless numbers because considering what other smartphones are capable of these days when it comes to wireless charging, that bar is being raised as well. So in the power department, you should be pretty happy all around with the S24 Ultra, from the battery to how long it lasts to the overall recharging times. I'm happy, you should be too. But with all this having been said, here are my final thoughts on the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra smartphone and whether or not it's a flagship smartphone you should consider for yourself. The S24 Ultra is arguably more of a refinement of the S23 Ultra, but I do feel as though those refinements are substantial enough to allow the S24 Ultra to stand alone as its own flagship smartphone 
offering. The only things I'd personally change are an improvement to that ultra wide camera, specifically as it relates to the sensor, a little bit more brightness in the display, and support for Dolby Vision. But besides that, I'm loving this device. A very, very solid Android flagship smartphone that you'll probably end up loving as much as I do. As always, for the latest deals, prices, promos, and information for the S24 Ultra, you could of course always head to my affiliate link, bmac.link slash S24 Ultra, or there will also be clickable links in the video description box and in the comment section below, so be sure to check those out. I'm gonna go take some more notes here on my S24 Ultra because I could do that with this S Pen. I don't know what it is. I could diary on this thing. I could do this all day. I love writing with the S Pen. I will see you guys in my next video.